Good morning, 8th standard. I welcome you back for session 3. Today we are going to see the ER based topic again but in exercise format. Now, before getting into the video, this book is necessary for you. Apreno Le Francais, Volume 3. If you have this book, good. If not, just take two lessons as a Xerox and for time being have it. So, today we are going to cover three topics one is choose true or false and question answers and topic number two is exercise number six and topic number three is exercise number eight so follow the video and i have shown you the solutions in each exercise take down their solutions only with your pencil not with your pen so mark it in your book and revise it later so hope you guys are doing well I have seen your last test mark. It was very good. Good. Keep it up. Do the same and be safe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Now we are going to see lesson 1 exercise. So lesson 1 la round 3 exercise. That is first we will see Deet Vreu 4. And second we will see Kushi La Bonne Réponse. And third Répondre. Okay. So we will start with Deet Brave Four. So to find these answers, you must be thorough with the passage. Hope you already have revised it. So I'll just go with the Deet Brave Four. Caroline et Anish sont dans la même classe. Caroline et Anish sont dans la même classe that means they say they both belong to the same class is it so sure. let's see the proof see Anish et Caroline uh, sorry Anish et Emmanuel cherche leur classe de français ils rencontrent Caroline et Nathalie that means on the way these guys are meeting each other so they may not be from the same class so what is the answer for this the first one answer should be 4. 4 if you don't know the spelling you can take it from here. F A U X 4. Nathalie a des livres aujourd'hui. Okay. Do you remember she didn't bring the book on the first day. See the proof is here. Mais nous ne travaillons pas aujourd'hui c'est le premier jour. So, who said this? Nathalie said. So, that means, here, in the true or false, they are saying, Nathalie has the book with her. So, does she has the book? No. So, the answer is again, 4. Where is the answer? F, A, U, X, 4. So, third one. Anish Emmanuel cherche quelque chose. Okay, Anish Emmanuel, are they searching for something? Yes. What they were searching for? They were searching for their class. So we can say that they are searching for something. So the answer is true. The answer is vrai. La rentrée, c'est le premier jour de l'école. Après les vacances. What do you mean by the term rentrée? I have said no. The first class I said no. La rentrée, that means the re-entry of the students to the school for the first day la rentrée is called the first day otherwise yeah it's true so the answer should be vrai so i'll pause and show you the answers you can just take it down okay yes the answers the vrai four caroline et anish sont la dame la même classe c'est faux nathalie a des livres aujourd'hui faux Anish et Emmanuel cherchent quelque chose vrai. La rentrée, c'est le premier jour de l'école. Après les vacances, vrai. Okay, is it okay? Shall we go for the choose? Okay. Choose. Coucher la bonne réponse. Pendant les vacances, Anish va en Angleterre, en Inde, aux États-Unis. So, to which country Anish went? Any guess? Angleterre means England. 
and uh, onan means india or zetazuni means united states so we went to india okay now number 2 anish adore le cours de français anish déteste le cours de français anish n'aime pas le cours de français so what did anish like or hate or didn't like so i think adore le cours de français is the right answer right so what he said in the passage he likes the french class right okay we'll move on to the third one caroline ashad se livre caroline ashad se livre dema aujourd'hui hier dema aujourd'hui hier so it is dema is it so no wrong what she said i'll buy the books today that is the right answer so we will see the answers now you can take it down okay here are the answers for the first one pono leva course anish va on anth first one second one anish adore le cours de français third one is caroline ashad se livre aujourd'hui so these are the answers is it okay now shall we move on to the répondre okay répondre pourquoi natalie n'a pas de livre why she didn't have the book we'll see the see again the same thing what she says here Natalie on son ton cartable et tes livres this was the question asked by manuel so what did natalie said natalie says me no na travaillo pa aujourd'hui c'est le premier jour she justifies that it is the first day so that's why she didn't bring the book so the answer will be this pourquoi natalie n'a pas de livre pourquoi means why so you have to justify so what do you have to say natalie n'a pas de livre parce que c'est le premier jour after parce que c'est le premier jour this is the answer i'll show you the answers after i finish the second one okay anish quel cours aime-t-il il am le cours de français c'est anish anish français j'adore le cours de français he himself says that so that is the answer i'll show you the answers now okay here is the question with the answer you can just take it down c'est pourquoi natalie n'a pas de livre natalie n'a pas de livre parce que c'est le premier jour okay parce que c'est le premier jour this is the first answer second answer is il adore le cours de français il adore le cours de français so with this we are completing three exercises that is true or false and uh, choose and répondre okay hope you have taken down the answers for these three exercises in case if you have not taken just you can rewind the video and you can take the answers okay now we are going to see exercise number 6 this is also based on year conjugation so first we will see this exercise and uh, then i'll show you the answers okay so in this exercise there are different kinds of verb écouter regarder organiser jouer finir boire that is it has er ir and re all the three forms of verbs are there it is in a mixed form so first we have to suit the particular verb to the sentence and then we can conjugate the verb so first we are going to suit which goes with which sentence and then we are going to conjugate it 
so we will read the heading Keskil form so what does it does complete on utilis only we are doing complete the sentence with the given verbs so what is the key in this the first sentence we'll see je dash a cafe au restaurant so je is i a cafe is what a coffee a restaurant so just find out the keywords what do you do with a coffee so imagine if i use a kute do you listen with a coffee or watch a coffee so like that you have to sort out in that way just suit a particular verb juve no finir no boire boire means what to drink so je bois un café au restaurant i'll show you this exercise with the answer later now you just look here and follow the steps what i do okay so first one is boire boire verb conjugation you know already but i will show you again isabel et jean dash tennis tennis is the keyword so tennis which is related to sports so just see if there is any sports related verb which is given on the top so i'm going to search for a sports related word okay here juve is there so we can use juve third one ma mère dash la télé télé is the keyword here so what do you do with a tv watch regarde is here tu dash dîner dîner what verb can be used for dîner dîner is dinner so manger okay il dash français avec le professeur français is a language right so what do you do with the language you speak il parle this verb could be used mark dash a sandwich okay okay so mark dash a sandwich so sandwich is a eatable thing and dine is a dinner so both are related so we have to search either this will verb will go there and that verb will come here so sandwich manger we can again use manger even if you write manger here and here both are correct in case we we search for any other verb which suit this particular sentence number 4 that is finir tu fini ton dîner tu fini ton dîner sixth one is mark dash a sandwich mark mange a sandwich so we can alternate the verbs vu dash in boom boom means a party a fête uh there is a party so what do you usually do with a party you organize a party right what do you do do you watch or play or mosh you cannot eat a party so it should be vu organize vu organize this is the perfect thinking i think so it, the, no other verb suits this al dash pari pari is a place so what do you do with a place you visit a place so visite verb will suit here no dash la radio 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 usually we listen to the radio right ecoute il dash dans la classe il dash dans la classe let's see which verb is suiting ecoute no regarde organise joue boire parle manger être i think être verb will suit right il sont dans la classe that is the presence they are in the class so être verb so être is the correct verb elle dash une robe bleue 
Ellen is the name of a girl. So, in robe bleu is a blue dress. So, what do you do with the dress? You wear it or you choose it or you buy it. Let's see, wear it, no, no option is given. Choose it, yeah, Shwasir is here. Okay, buy it, Ashate, the verb is not present. So, Shwasir is the right answer. The last one, Est-ce que vous dash le français à l'école? Français à l'école. Le français, that means the subject French. So, when you say the French, that should be apprendre. You learn the subject called French, apprendre. Now, we have sorted out one or two things and there are some alternative options also. Now, we will see with the answer what suits which sentence. Okay, here are the answers. You can take it down later when I come to the twelfth point. Now, you just listen. I will read it again once for you. Je bois un café au restaurant. Boar verb is a RE verb and is an irregular verb, so that you have to memorize B O I S. Isabel et Jean jouent au tennis, that is, there are two people are there. So, one is Isabel and other one is Jean, so that comes under plural, third person plural. So, we are adding E N T to the ending. Normally, jouer verbs here. J O U E R is there. So, when we add ENT, it becomes third person plural. Ma mer, ma mer, regard la tele. So, what do you do with the TV? You watch. Regarde, since third person singular, I am just taking down the R and adding E. E R and adding E. Fourth one is tu fini ton dini. This is a normal IR conjugation that is regular. So, you have to take out the IR and you have to add I S. For two subject, il parle français avec le professeur. Parle verb many times you have seen. So whenever it is ils, you will add ent to the ending. Mark mange un sandwich. So Mark is third person singular. So what do we add? E. Vous organisez. Oh, there is a small spelling mistake here. When you add, add a is it here. Wu organize e is it Wu organize yun boom I repeat Wu organize O R G A N I S E is it okay Wu organize yun boom okay now we'll go for the eighth one Al visit pari Al visit pari visit is a er verb so this is Third person singular, what do we have to add? Just a E. Take out the ER and add E. Nous écoutons la radio. Nous écoutons la radio. So, radio, we usually used to listen. So, nous adding ONS to the ending. Ils ont dans la classe. The presence of the students. They are in the class so at verb s o n t that is a irregular verb ellen swasir swasi yun rob bleu swasir verb ellen is third person singular what we are taking out is i r and adding i t okay don't get confused with this i s because normally in the verb itself it has i s see here swasir where is it here C H O I S I R. So now we have to take out the I R alone, not the I S. Okay. And we have to see what person it is, third person singular. So we are adding I T. Last one. Est-ce que vous apprenez le français à l'école? Apprendre verb is here. Apprendre verb. What is the prene verb, you know, right? The same prene verb you have to add. Prene, apprene. Both are same. Prene is to take. Aprene is to learn. So, A P P R E N E is it? Aprene le français. So now you can pause the video and take down these answers. Take it with a pencil in your book. Okay. So if there is any doubt, I will again uh, do a recheck, and uh, I will give you few tests based on these things later.
Now we are going to see exercise number 8. That is conjuguer les verbes souvent au présent de l'indicatif. So first verb which is given is ranger les disques. Ranger les disques. This verb you can conjugate using the same ER verb. The same ER verb ending. Okay. Already we have seen ER verb endings that you know. So what is the ending? E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. So second verb is appelé. Appelé le chien. The same ER verb conjugation but in one or two subject salons the L will differ. That I will show you. Third one is commencer le jeu. Fourth one vont la maison. Now we will see this first four and then we will continue with the next four. Okay. Okay, here is the first four conjugation. First one is ranger les disques. So as you know the conjugation E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z and E, N, T. The first one is je range les disques. The first one is je range les disques. Tu range le disque. Il, elle range les disques. Nous rangions les disques. Why? Because generally when it comes to GER verb, there is an exception that this place alone, the conjugation E will be added extra. Okay? Nous rangions. So don't forget to write this E in your classwork. Vous rangez les disques. Il, elle range les disques. So the pronunciation is range, rangion, ranger. So that is the three sounds that you have to use. Now, uh, no need to take down now. I will pause the video and then you can take down. So we will go for uh, verb number two. Okay. Appelé. Appelé verb, you know. Appelé le chien. J'appelle le chien. Tu t'appelles le chien. Tu appelles les chiens. Il, elle appelle le chien. Nous appelons le chien. Vous appelez les chiens. Il, elle appelle le chien. Normally, appelé verb is a reflexive verb. That is, we will read je m'appelle, right? But here, the question is not in reflexive form. It is in the normal form. So, when we conjugate appelé verb, do not forget to add two L's when you conjugate. Only for nu and vu there will be one single L in the center. Other than that, see ya. Yeah. J'appelle le chien. See, double L is coming. Tu appelles le chien. Il, elle appelle le chien. Nous appelons le chien. Vous appelez le chien. Il, elle appelle le chien. So, for nu and vu alone, Single L will come. Okay. So this is the conjugation for appeler le chien. Now we'll go for the third verb. What is the third verb? Third verb is commencer. Commencer le jeu. Je commence le jeu. Tu commences le jeu. Il, elle commence le jeu. Nous commençons le jeu. Vous commencez le jeu. Il, elle commence le jeu. So the sound is commence, commençons, commencer. Here the exception is for the new form in the mid C alone will have C cédil. That is a small s down the C you have to add. That is the sound of s. Commençons. Ok. Nous commençons le jeu. So, other than that, everything is normal. E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T is normal. Okay. So, this is commencer le jeu. Now, we'll go for the fourth verb that is vendre la maison. Vendre la maison. Okay. Je vends la maison. So, what is the difference here? This is a RE verb. 
so normally the ending of r is s s hyphen that is nothing to be added o n s e z e n t okay now we are going to see the conjugation in a detailed manner so what is the radical here v e n d is the radical so v e n d is repeating everywhere right only we add s s hyphen o n s e z and e n t the first one is je vont la maison tu vont la maison il elle vont la maison nous vendons la maison vous vendez la maison il elle vend la maison so vont vendons vendez three sounds okay so this is r e verb i repeat other three verbs are er verbs but this one is re verb so that endings will change so i'll just keep the page like this so then you can pause the video and take this for your use okay after taking this you can revise it later so just try to memorize these verbs and 5 6 7 8 i think you can do that as a homework but i'll show you the solutions later okay in next class i'll show you the solutions okay so 1 2 3 4 we have done and 5 6 7 8 we will do it later okay i have uh, used this 5 6 7 8 now itself because there are few irregular verbs so you might get confused so i'll just explain you here itself you can just take it down later just follow the class okay uh, dir bonjour dir is a ari verb but it is a irregular verb you might have a question sir how do you say it is a regular verb ari is a ending so other than that everything should be constant right but the spellings will change in the middle see je dis bonjour so d i s here d i s t u e l l d i t nu d i s o n s vu d i t e s e l l d i s e n t so the conjugation will differ that is this is a irregular verb so the conjugation will differ the only way is to memorize this there is no other way so i'll read the uh, verb for you je dis bonjour tu dis bonjour il elle dit bonjour nous disons bonjour vous dites bonjour il elle dit bonjour so this is the conjugation for dir verb and the upcoming verb is also a irregular verb so we will explain it so you can just follow that prendre prendre is again a re verb but a irregular verb see here it has double n so the spelling will change here and there see till here it is having d but when it comes to when it comes to nu and vu the d is disappeared So no and vu d is disappeared. Je prends des cassettes. Tu prends des cassettes. Il elle prend des cassettes. So till here the d is appeared. But no prenu des cassettes. So d is disappeared because this is a regular verb. The only way is to memorize. Vu prene des cassettes. Il elle pren des cassettes. So you have to just take down this and you have to memorize the verbs okay prendre des cassettes is the conjugation okay now être verb être verb you know already so je suis tu es il est elle est nous sommes vous êtes ils ont elles ont just you have to conjugate these verbs and add aller so this is very simple that you are learning from 6 standard so this you will do so our verb our verb here they have asked in a negative form in the conjugation 
of uh, PPT, I have shown you the negative form, right? Very simple, you have to conjugate the same, but before the verb you have to add na and after the verb you have to add pa. That is the only thing. In case if the verb is a vowel, you have to add n apostrophe, the normal thing. So that is what they have done here. Ne pa war, that is je ne pa le rag. Tu na pa le rag. Here there is a small spelling mistake. Il al without s it should come, okay. Il al na pa le rag. Nu na vom pa le rag. Vu na ve pa le rag. Il al no pa le rag. So before the verb, what is here? Here it is n apostrophe, right? And after the verb, what is there? After the verb, there is pa. No pa. Okay, since this is a vowel, they have using, used n apostrophe. That is the only thing. So with this, we are completing exercise number 8.